Hello, this is not a big, <laughs> this is not a spring chick. The bikinis are, and you know, a lot of times we do a lot of stuff when it comes to the sun. And part of it is there's a lot of mistakes that people make and they really don't even realize they're making it. Oh, would they do something like that? Well, and they're making mistakes uh, on some things that they really do not know they're making mistakes on, period. Because the government has changed the regulation, including on uh, SPFs and stuff now. I know. Actually, I'm going to make this. This is a, a top ten. Yeah, okay. well, it's actually, we I mean, they only have the official top nine, and we made a ten out of it. We're so. making the ten. Because yeah. the one thing I'm going to tell you is the mistake you're making is you don't put sun protection on in advance. Yeah. But you should. Actually, we've been told, we have really been told enough about doing that, haven't we? Right. <laughs> now you're saying, why do you need to do it in advance? Go lay down in the sand. <laughs> oh yeah, it sticks to you. Um, and part of it is, I don't have the technical reasons why on here, but what happens is you need to put it on in advance so it goes into your skin. So number one, it doesn't get all over you when you lay down. Number two is it takes some time to work into it because actually some of the statistics were saying that if you don't put it on in advance, you're actually, believe this or not, doing worse for your skin by doing it on after you're already out exposed to the sun. Yeah, the waterproof stuff doesn't really work well if you put it on while you're there because mm -hmm. it's just a greasy blob. So, I mean, it yeah. is a sensible thing. We have, we, we absolutely, we have, we've got videos of of her putting it on at the beach and then forgetting she put it on and then she's covered in sand. Well, you know, here's here's the part that I have a difficult time with because, you know, you're supposed to put it on well, and sometimes you forget. You don't think about it until you're out at the beach. Because, for example, you're in the car, you've got more clothes on, you get out to the beach, then you get down to your swimsuit, right? Uh -huh. Because if you put it on before at the house and you'd wipe it all off, you get to the beach. I still think it's better to put it on, period, than not to put it on at all. But you put it on when your skin is in the shaded area, not when you're supposedly exposed to the sun. Okay. There's lots of things. This is really important. But I still think it's better to do it than not. This at all. is Memorial Day is coming up, and people are going to be at the beaches, so this one actually goes up now. It really does. And one of the uh, another big mistake people make is um, this is number two is they don't put on enough stuff. Okay, you're thinking, oh, you don't really need that much. Yeah. Okay. So how much is enough? If you have to keep going, yeah. right, and spreading it all over it, when you have just a little bit, forget it. Be generous. Yeah. You're like, but the bottle cost me ten dollars. Well. But how many times are you actually going to go to the beach? That's true. Um, part of it is you're thinking if you're bringing a family out there, that might you might need two bottles. You might need like twenty dollars worth of sun protection. Ah. Uh, yeah. Here's, you know. here's maybe the eleventh uh, one. Sun protection for an adult is not the same as sun protection for a child. So that That's body, that, that bottle you're using for the adult is mostly not to be used on a child, folks. There's no oh, deep. that's right. In uh, fact, I would bring, I actually have sun protection out here for kids that I don't have out here. That's right. And we, if you look on the bottles, it will tell you the ones for kids versus adults. Uh -huh. And it's got ingredients in it that says do not use on children. But I remember, because I'm the one with the children, so I, mean, I, I, I know that was specifically going, walk, walking through the thing and looking for the things with the, okay, I can't use, that means I have to get two because I can't use this on the, on the little one, so. Uh-huh. Yeah, actually, that's a, that's a really good one, it's a different product for adult versus the kids. Okay, now when we were talking about skimping on this stuff, okay. Let's just put it this way. Be generous. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you have to keep doing it and doing it and doing it until it's done. Um, because that's, you're coding yourself. Well, anyway, if you got, if your boyfriend is with you doing it, I know. you can have a lot of fun doing it. He can just give it. you a massage while you're at it. Yeah. And it's a good way. When Father's Day is coming up, give your, father, give your husband a present. Mm -hmm. Let him put the stout lotion on you. Or as the commercial said to the girl, you know, you look like an angel after you put the lotion on her. <laughs> you, you know, she's still like about 90 years old, but it's at the... Oh, and that amount of time you're supposed to put it on beforehand is actually 20 minutes to allow it time to sink into it. So the sun protection is not just on the surface, that's actually in your yeah. skin. But 20 minutes means you don't do it when you get to the beach. Yeah. Um, also, here's the other challenge is you soak it in and then you put clothes on, so then the clothes get it. So 
Yeah, you, you see the predicament. It's called wear cover-ups, and when you put the That's lotion on, wear cover-ups. Cover actually, so we're getting more stuff. Yes, um, not wearing sunscreen on a cloudy day. This is actually something. This is a mistake I think almost everybody makes because okay. they they get the worst sunburns on cloudy days. You'll fry your nose and your ears on a cloudy day mm -hmm. because they don't wear hats on cloudy days either. Mm -mm. God is stupid. I mean, I, I mean, well, and then you know, the sun protection is not just valid from Memorial Day to Labor Day. It's something that you have on all year long. Yeah, but see, we have an advantage. We live in Southern California. Yeah. So part of it is we think about it. Yeah, because I mean, we can. We've got. I know the worst burns that people always get is on in, during June gloom out here, because we'll get the tourists coming. They don't realize how much sun you're really getting during June gloom. They get burnt. When we have seen girls that are totally fried from being out in, in the sun during June gloom, and that's mm -hmm. it. This means this class it's over cloud, it's overcast, mm -hmm. but the sun is still there burning it. Also, if you have an, a high SPF, some people think, oh, we have a high SPF. We've, you know, we've got. Let's see. This is a, a broad spectrum eighty. That means it lasts eighty times longer. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> it does not. Um, that does not translate. Actually, you know what, that's a whole other thing where we talk about SPF and actually what it means. Yeah. But the same thing still applies. I think you need to reply it, I think, uh, like every what, hour and a half to two hours. Yeah, and uh, the government has given a warning about the, after you reach a certain point, the SPF is no longer any more effective than the lower ones. That mm -hmm. is the latest thing which we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, my father... Uh, because he was burnt during the Battle of the Bulge and then burnt again during the during uh, his war in Asia, the Pacific Theater, had skin cancer all his life. And yeah. my father, the military would give him like ES, uh, SPF 190, oh. and then he was still burned, and he never could understand why. Well, the government, they now, the uh, Food and Drug Administration has told you why, because it is the 190 is no more effective than the lower ones. Yeah. Although we do um, have something over there that does work really well. Yeah, I mean, part of it is... The they, clear they, zinc one. The, this clear zinc, because they tell you to use the right formula. Now, I will tell you, they say to use a UVA slash UVB protection. If it does not say it does both, it doesn't do both. It doesn't do both. They are very That's specific the about it, and they check both. You need both. Yeah, and these are just things I grabbed out of my cupboard. I, I actually do yeah. have more than this, because, of course, I'm out in the sun all the time, as you know. Um, but this one we really like. This is a clear zinc continuous spray. This is the most advanced um, sun protection because it's a broad spectrum from harmful and it says UVA only. It doesn't say UVA, UVB. No, but it is, uh, I, you know, uh, it is really good. Oh, it says U harmful UV rays, period. Yeah. It's got green tea and aloe in it too. Yeah, and it's really good. It's basically this, uh, that white stuff that the, mm -hmm. that the lifeguard put in their nose. This is it in a clear version, but I wouldn't put it on my face. I put it on my arms, my stomach, and my legs and hands. And that's another one, folks. The back of your hands, which you don't think about. And they also do have specific formulations that are just for your face, yeah. and not for the body too. Yeah. So when we talk about choosing the right formula, it's not only UVA, UVB. It's also sport. If you're going to be out in the water, yeah. right? Right. Waterproof. And we just got a, uh, we just, the chair dog just wandered in. We're going to give you another tip from the veterinarian. What's that? Uh, dogs burn. Oh. So, you know, you, you mean I should rub stuff on my dog's tummy? If a child can have it, basically a dog can have it. But dogs will tend to lay, roll over on their backs just like a human on the beach and let the sun get them. Well, you know, and part of it, yeah, it does. But this stuff works great, and this is not just for sun. Well, you actually use it, you know, like if you've got bug bites yep. or to give you protection, you basically do a, a thin coating of this. Yep. This, um, we, you know, part of it is, I don't know where I should get it. This is from a company called Solar Sense. Yeah, we've got and lots of bottles of this stuff, folks. But there are other ones that also have a, a spray. And actually, they have them for kids as well as for adults. Yeah, and the kids generally will have a kid. Here's another one. Uh, kids will, gen will often have a bug spray additive. Don't look for the look for the children's thing that has no D E E T in it, no, no DEET, DEET. Mm -hmm. which is also really good. Also, here's another formula right here. This one, 
Let's talk about this. Is that our ESPN one or? No, actually we'll go on to this. Um, no, this is a different one. Um, no. You missed a spot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so part of it is there are all these nooks and crannies in the body that you don't think are going to be exposed to the sun, but part of it is you do move. No, we'll, we'll, we'll give you an example. She went to the beach in her zipper bikini and laid down and basically uh, you know, she had her skirt on and her, and her shirt on, and she laid down. Was, what happened was <laughs> the whole area on the back, back side of the legs was exposed to the sun, and areas you generally don't put uh, suntan lotion on. Mm -hmm. Those you got to remember, suntan lotion everywhere, folks, because girls yeah. do lay down. Well, and the other thing people don't think about is, like, I've got long hair, so I, I'm thinking, I don't need sun protection for my hair. I actually... They're actually in the car, they're not in here. So I actually do have sprays for sun protection for my hair. Yeah, and, and, and on, she also does have UV protected hats, mm -hmm. which means you got a hat for, that's right, because people, their heads, hair, the heads, scalp area burns the worst of well, all. You know, especially, and you don't have to be bald, no. okay? You can actually have a full head of hair. and. Because see, part of it is, you know, it separates and you've got a little right. bit of skin showing. And, and you're not going to sit there and take this and then go like this. No, you don't because it messes your hair up. I know, and then it gets oily. So, it's uh -huh. like they have UV swimsuits, UV t-shirts. They yeah. have UV... <laughs>